Hello everybody. I don't have much energy in this world, but there's something I wanted to talk about to y'all, you know, to my subscribers. I um to sum it up in a simple paragraph, my last two weeks has been really crazy chaotic. Um for the simple fact that I met one person off of TikTok who was hounding me. And I really meant that hounding me over trying to date me. And then y'all let me know this is crazy, extreme, whatever the case is, because I thought it was a little crazy too. And if it wasn't for, you know, my past, I don't think I would have been clear enough to think for myself and think about what's real and what's a fantasy. Because for a small period of time, for four days, I was living a fantasy and then I woke up to reality because I realized this person was such a hound and then he was like very immature in his actions and words. So right after I got off alive on TikTok, I saw, I started talking to a lot of people's on, not a lot of people's, but I say three or four people's and each and every day I get on TikTok I tend to draw a small crowd coming to me where they want to just have conversations, be on some chill mode. And I really do appreciate that a lot. And one guy in particular, he's a trucker from California. And I guess he was constantly watching me because he was trying to send me messages. And I told everybody ahead of time that I turn off my DMs just for the simple fact that I'm sick and tired of people keep trying to holler at me on TikTok because... See, the thing is, on TikTok, everybody keeps saying that it's not real. People are not real. The whole relationship thing is not real. Like, people want to date and have relationships, but they're not ready to meet in real life. Then you got these fantasy men who always throwing out thirst trap videos and pictures and waiting for women to go crazy over them. And I'm really starting to get sick and tired of that because it's like, if you're not really trying to give people what they want, why lure them? And I do always think it's like people luring other people's because they're not really trying to have nothing. They just, they're the thirst trap. And some of these women really do go crazy about the shit. And I'm like, okay, I can't do that. I can't go crazy over somebody that I know I can never have. Fantasies. What fantasies? I am not even going to do that to myself. That's like punishing yourself because you know you deserve what you want. You've been praying for what you want. And every day while you working and getting your life together, you're hoping and praying that that right person come along or your fantasy man or your fantasy girl will come along knowing that person ain't going to never come along. So I'm sitting here looking at these videos over and over and this guy keeps hounding me. And I was sitting here like, okay, what is he trying to say to me? Because it's one thing to be straightforward and tell the person what you want. But it's another thing to try to lure them in with fake information or trying to be someone that you're not. And this is exactly what this person was doing to me. So I made two videos back to back. And this guy was responding to my videos, commenting in the comment section like, trying to get my attention and then he goes and says i'm a ordained minister from california i'm a trucker and i would love to be your friends like let's be friends and then i'm saying here like okay how should i respond to that then two minutes later he's like aggressively asking me don't you see my messages don't you see anything that i'm texting you and i'm like okay who the hell are you and then i look at his profile and I see that he we're following each other. So I was like, it must have been a long time because a lot of people that follows me and I follow them right back, I don't necessarily have conversations with them. I don't even introduce myself to them. I just keep it moving because at the end of the day, you're looking to gain a thousand followers so you can go live. And everybody looks at my following and see that I have over 5,100 followers. And people was like, oh, let me attach myself to her and see if she can help me. And that's just what everybody is doing. A lot of people is constantly on TikTok 
following me, DMing me, asking me for favors, asking me to shout them out, asking me to feature them on whatever video, uh, just get them attention and clout for whatever reason. And I'm saying here like, okay, first of all, I don't even get a hello from anybody. Two, you don't even introduce yourself to me. And three, I don't see you liking and sharing any of my videos. So asking me for favors is out of pocket and be like, no. And I'm not one of those cocky ass, arrogant peoples that would sit here and be like, oh, F out of here, like get out of here, whatever the case is. And do I look like I'm somebody that you could sit here and ask favors for? So with that being said, I had to block a lot of peoples and then I had to make another video in case somebody didn't see the first two videos I made from a couple of months back. Like, hey, we're on here to entertain each other, have fun and possibly make friendships. But don't DM me asking me for favors. Don't DM me trying to get with me or anything like that. And then the more I kept making these type of videos, it was like the more these people kept doing it over and over. It's like they wasn't getting it through their heads. And imagine getting these type of messages almost every single day for two to three months. That would get on your nerves real quick. So this guy kept hounding me, kept messaging me over and over. And then I finally respond. So I turn on my DMs to see what the hell he want. And he was like, did you get the last couple of messages I sent you because you never respond? No, I didn't get the messages. My DMs is off. When your DMs is off, you don't get messages. In his mind, he's thinking I'm ignoring them and I haven't got them. So I was like, okay, what do you want? Right off the back, I had to be on some aggressive type shit and then have to let him know that I'm not the one to play with. I don't know what you look at, but this isn't this not it this is not the person you want to play with this is not the person you want to try to you know how you say run game on whatever the case is and he already knew that just by my um the way i was talking to him he already knew that i was not the one to play so once again he lured me with this you know fake bull crap where he wants to be friends, talk about I could come to him whenever I want to talk to him. If I need a friend and someone to lean on, he's the person to go to. And I was like, out of all millions of people on TikTok and Instagram, you just happen to be the one you think I need to come to just to talk to as friends. No, I have plenty of friends for that. I even have a close friend that I talk to on a regular. I could talk to her about anything that I need. So what do you want? So he goes from trying to lend a hand as a friend to trying to get with me, trying to be my man. And mind you, this dude is not an ounce of even attractive. He is not my type in every sense of the word. And then too, when I went on his profile page, I saw that he was just making videos of his truck as if that was like the most exciting things you want to look at every single day. So right off the back, I already knew this man ain't it. So I was like, okay, what's really your motive? Why are you trying to contact me? Why are you trying to holler at me? And I never said I was looking for anybody on TikTok. So why are you trying to be the one to step to me, trying to be something to me? And then on top of that, we live on opposite sides of the world. So that would be a definite hell no. And so he goes and he was like, well, can we have a conversation? And he said it's twice. And I'm saying like, we are having a conversation right now. So I say what you have to say so I could be going with it and just mind my business, keep it moving, whatever the case is. So he was trying to holler at me and he was telling me about his job, how he owns his trucking company, how he has nobody the day he has a kid. He has plenty of kids, but they all grown and he has an eight-year-old. Then he was asking me what I do for a living. Who do I live with? How old am I? Like all the regular, you know, questions that anybody would ask. So I'm sitting here like, okay, I don't know why he's asking me this question. So I was like, get, just get to the point, right? So he got to the point and let me know that he was very much interested in me, that he wanted to talk to me, that he wanted to see where this goes. And not once he ever asked me if I find him attractive, what do I want and what do I want in a man and if I want to date him. And I'm saying like, yo, the audacity of this man. And I hate when certain guys do this. And I'm sitting here like, okay, I'm sorry, but I cannot be nice any longer. And I'm not selling for less. This is not me. And this would never beat me. But it's like, why every butt ugly mother mofo always trying to holler at me? Why are these butt ugly ass dudes always trying to get to me? Always trying to ask me out. And then on top of that, you don't even live in my city. So that was a no, no, and a hell no. 
and he just insisted on trying to date me. So he goes and asks me for my number, ask me where I live at. And I'm saying like, no, I am not giving you my number. And then I call my best friend and tell her about this. So I was like, what do you think when it comes to this shit? Because I think this is hilarious. And he was insistent on talking to me. I swear to God, this dude went days and days and hours and hours contacting me on TikTok trying to get me to say yes, trying to get my attention. And I guess he thought by me talking about his trucking, about, I guess he telling me about his trucking business and living in California and he got his own home. That was supposed to get me to get excited and be like, yes, I would love to date you. Like, yes, I would love to fall at your feet and be that yes, sir, no, sir type of girl. No. And then once we got deep into the conversation and this is day two, he goes, and tries to get me to say yes to him. And then he I caught then I caught him being seriously aggressive to me and then want to try to get me to conform to his you know his lifestyle and he wants me to live up to his standards. And you could tell by the conversation we was having that he was not going to let go until he get that answer yes out of me. And I thought this was really out of control, but Y'all stick around for part two because this will get crazier because this was this lasted for three and a half days until I blocked him.